These are small kingdoms and uh, don't. <laughs> <laughs> oh, there we go. It just said boom. Okay, today we're gonna to talk about Reddit, one of the biggest websites in the world. They have between one and two billion visits every month. And all that could generate a lot of traffic to your startup without having a big following already. We're gonna talk about five steps to growth hacking on Reddit. Finally in the video, we're gonna tell a real story about going viral on Reddit and how that's different than other social media such as Twitter and Facebook. This is Raw Startup. With us today, we have Stefan Ulmark. Stefan, why don't you tell us a little bit about yourself? I'm here in uh, Sweden. I uh, built a music community uh, called Hasik Leads. We quickly did 2 million visitors uh, from Google per month. And then I did the same for a movie, movie community called Where You Watch. I've uh, been on BBC World, Garden, New York Times, Vice. So why are we talking about Reddit today? I think Reddit is interesting. It's a tricky beast, uh, but has a great traffic. It's been a great traffic source for me. And they are divided into these subreddits. It's like a mini forum. Uh, it's everything from world news to collecting Beatles record. Unlike Twitter or Facebook, quality content or products or services actually have a shot and uh, pays off pays off without having a big following. So, so the point here really is that if you create amazing content on Reddit, you don't have to have 100,000 followers like on Twitter or somewhere of the other social media. It's so cliche, but it actually is true. Um, the downside, however, is that moderators rule the kingdom. You either follow their rules or you're out. So you have to be a little, more, little bit more subtle on Reddit. You can't just you know, jump the party and try and sell stuff. Exactly. There's an audience ready. They are ready in that way. They are divided already into these mini forums or subreddits. Unlike Twitter or Facebook, like I said before, you don't have to have built a following first. There's, there's no SEO. There's no keywords to, to use. There's no hidden hashtags or all that crap that you have to deal with within the Instagram. Step one, understanding Reddit. So first of all, you obviously need to create an account and then join subreddits where you can be productive. And productive, I also mean that you read and learn and take your time. Uh, as an entrepreneur, uh, this might include the subreddits startups. I think it's, it's a good way to start listening and reading, first of all, lessons I really like. Uh, you can learn a lot from that. Uh, and then you got lengthier stories, which are also very interesting. And then we got content marketing. I think that's very interesting uh, about how to use content correctly, how to get exposure to your content. Alternative, if you're willing to reveal your own business venture, or what you are going to do, there's one called Startup Ideas. Uh, and it's also super interesting. I mean, yeah, and, and, and this is cool, right? First important, you cannot skip this step. Uh, and there are two things here. First of all, you can learn a lot from this content. This content is really, really solid content. Secondly, you're also learning Reddit. And if you don't learn Reddit, you're not gonna be able to move forward here. Step two, ask all the newbie questions. Don't think of Reddit as a traffic source straight away. Take the opportunity to ask those really basic questions. And these are questions I usually get all the time. It's the same type of questions. It's do I need SEO? How do I find investors? Uh, do I need a paid campaign? Uh, how do I hashtag stuff on my Instagram? Do I need to do that? Uh, should I use WordPress? Reddit is perfect. Myself have engaged a lot in Instagram marketing. That's a subreddit, which is very interesting. I'm very bad at Instagram, so I'm learning a lot. So, so now you're engaging again, learning what to do and what not to do. And I think the important here is what not to do too, because we know the rules are strict. Every single group you go into, you have to read the rules. Yes. And, and posting, you know, will teach you what to do and what not to do. It can be frustrating, right, Stefan? It can be super frustrating, yes. <laughs> Step three, prepare to market yourself. So this is your time to map your niche on Reddit. So list all the subreddits which are related to your niche. There's gonna be more than one here. So. First of all, I want to really recommend a very basic, very simple tool. It's called Delay for Reddit. It's much more than a scheduler. It's a tool to discover a valuable subreddits. Uh, you just search for the keywords that you are interested in and your business are related to, and it will find those relevant subreddits. And it's going to help you 
with when to post, it's going to give you a lot of data insights. So it's, and it's super simple to use. Really highly recommend that one. It's super cheap as well. Then be very transparent. I can't say that enough. Don't talk about your company in third person. Like be very transparent on who you are and why, you know? And respecting the moderators, obviously, right? And again, yeah. we've said it a couple of times, read the rules. Yes, yes, read the mm, rules. <laughs> Step four, engage in your niche. Okay, now it's finally time. Now it's post time, post, post, post. What should you post? You might ask yourself. Okay, so guides have really worked for me. So that way you contribute and it's an organic way to insert links uh, to your site if it's relevant. If you don't know what type of guide you, you can write about or you have no idea uh, and you need inspiration, uh, copy popular posts and just improve upon them. Brian Dean, a famous SEO guy, he, he has this skyscraper method, which is basically you build one building. Someone has built a really tall building. You look at that and just make it even taller. Um, I think that makes a lot of sense. So, so you're saying, hey, get inspiration from others. Do create original content, but you get the idea about the theme because the theme is popular and then build a taller building, build something better than the, the previous post. Step five, gain traffic. Okay, I don't want to sound like a broken record. I know I have before, but Reddit hates marketers. That's number one thing to remind yourself of, right? So when you go going to insert your link to your business or your product, make sure that either being upfront that, hey, this is my product, uh, so, you know, just so you know, or uh, make it very seamless and organic. I'm gonna have some, a few examples for you. So if I post an extensive guide, uh, at the bottom, I will often place a link which says, uh, hey, this, this guide was originally written for, and then site X or my site, right? Uh, so it might not be original content. Uh, so it works like a reference. So does that generate enough traffic just to have a link at the bottom? If it's good enough, for example, it's, it's going to get a permanent placement and uh, people are going to go that post. They're going to have questions in the end. They will click on that link and see whatever happens, you know, or in that guide, uh, you can place a link to a product directly, a product I'm selling, but also include links to other companies, uh, products. It doesn't have to be your competing uh, company, of course but just to make it, you know, kind of seamless, like Amazon, Amazon, your site, Amazon, Amazon, that, okay, that might be too obvious, but just make it flow, make it organic, make it something like, hey, I really recommend this. So you're saying that, hey, it can't look like a one-sided promotion of your business, but if you do mix it up a little bit, then it can be done. Yes. And uh, one thing I found uh, works really well for me is, uh, okay, I really don't have time to maybe write those extensive guides. I've written a ton of guides. I can see that my, guy, my client maybe have built a very impressive site from the beginning and, you know, written lots of guides or posts or whatever. They shared it to Facebook. They shared it to Instagram, maybe gotten a few likes and then died out. And maybe it doesn't perform that well on Google take that stuff and put it on Reddit. And I also want to add, you know, uh, it's okay to promote your business directly on a few uh, subreddits. Do that. Uh, there's one called Shameless Plug. <laughs> and there's one called Small Businesses. And, oh, I want to mention uh, coupons. There's one called Coupons, which is super popular. People go crazy over there. So that's uh, highly recommended. Finally, I want to talk about something interesting. We'll tell a story about going viral on Reddit. Um, but also, why actually it's different going viral on Reddit compared to say Twitter or Facebook? I went viral on uh, Twitter, semi-viral on Reddit uh, at around the same time. On Twitter, it was, my tweet was about Taylor Swift's upcoming album. Um, it blew up, got 1 million impressions within 24 hours. That's a lot. And resulted in 90,000 visitors because I had included a link to my site in that tweet. And a number of outlets uh, wrote about me. Um, Vogue, Yahoo, Metro, MTV, all that's good, good press for me. Compared to Reddit, uh, I had written a guide on clothes, uh, which got really popular, and it got 27,000 impressions, and it resulted in 2,000 visitors to my site. Now, okay, that doesn't sound too impressive compared to the 1 million impressions, 
but there's a big difference here. Um, the Twitter users, which came to my site, they didn't really explore the rest of the site. They just jumped back straight back to Twitter. And my Twitter account is, I mean, it's years in the making with, uh, I have 30,000 followers and not a lot, but I've been running that Twitter account for many, many years. I think there's an important point here that there's, this is a business strategy from Twitter and Facebook. They are trying to create more closed communities where people stay. Reddit is different in the way they do not mind linking to others and are more integrated with the world. Exactly. To get the ball rolling and get to the, the million visitors or impressions. On Reddit, on the other hand, my, my account was brand new. I had no trust, no following, and I got a tons of impressions anyway. Um, and unlike Twitter, visitors actually converted. Only 2,000 visitors, yes, but 8% of those sign up to my newsletter. I got sold a lot of affiliated products at the, same, at the time. And that's really one of the important points here is that on other social media, you just have a lot of people flying by, but in these subreddits, you get the exact right people that are relevant for you, your service, your business. Okay, there you have it, five steps to growth hacking on Reddit. Step one, understanding Reddit. Step two, ask the newbie questions. Step three, prepare to market yourself. Step four, engage in your niche. Step five, gain traffic. Thank you very much for watching.